Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. So we've taken a look at the interface, got a good understanding of how it functions and what it's all about. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the, um, the uh, Ranger panel here and getting clips into the project and getting them playing, getting them launched as Bitwig calls it. So uh, one of the ways I want to do that, if I want to bring a clip or an audio in um, and I want it to loop and play and have it available for me to work with. One of the ways I can do that is I've got a couple icons or a couple um, buttons up here. This one says show arrangement timeline and this one is show clip launcher. So I'm going to select that and now you see we've got our clips. They're empty because we haven't brought anything into them but now they're ready for action. So again to get to our material we want to select this folder right here open up this panel and now we can go over to the um, samples and access the packages that we uh, have downloaded courtesy of Bitwig so let's work inside of uh, Beatport sounds so currently I've selected the Beatport sounds package and you see down below here I have access to every sample that comes within that package and that's somewhat disorganized you can move up and down right here just by hovering your mouse over, clicking on this little line. Drag it up and down if you need, you know, a little bit more access to the top or bottom of the screen. I'll put it somewhere close to the middle here. But again, this is somewhat disorganized. It's every sample just kind of, you know, alphabetically listed for us. So I'm going to collapse or open by using the triangle here, the um, folders below. So Beatport sounds loops, and then we've got access to all the individual folders which are categorized for us. So let's go into uh, I don't know what I want to work with. Let's try to find uh, something in the dubstep breaks. So here we've got, by selecting the dubstep breaks, I've got access to exactly what is in that folder. Now I can click on it and come over here to this arrow and play it to audition it. And then there's a stop button as well as the play. The play turns into a stop. So that's one way to audition it. If I don't want to hit the play button every time I select a sound, I can come down here and I can select this uh, speaker and arrow. And now with that on, it'll allow me to, anytime I select a file or a sample, to automatically start it playing. And then you have a, a visual representation of the waveform, and you have a play and a stop button that appear here, as well as a volume control to the left. You can go up and down here to control the volume. So let's find one. Yeah, I think that'll work. And let's uh, go ahead and click on it and drag it over and drop it into our audio clip launcher right here so now it's available and ready for us to play so let's select play right here and obviously you can hear immediately that the tempo of the sample is at 140 bpm and the tempo master tempo of our project is 121 so what's happening is Bitwig Studio automatically time stretches that uh, sample to fit the master tempo. So you can hear it playing at a, a slower BPM than the actual tempo of the project. So let's say before we drag this over and drop it in here, we wanted to hear that sample playing at the master tempo. The way you achieve that is back over here next to the speaker and the arrow is a um, synchronized preview playback song tempo button. See? So with that guy selected, whenever we're choosing samples now, they're gonna play back at the master tempo of the project. So let's go ahead and boost this guy up here a little bit and kind of get closer to where we need to be for this sample. 140 should do it, and now it should sound the same. Back in business and you can see once I hit play first let's talk about looking at the clip itself there's a couple ways I can do that I can double click it and it's gonna bring up 
an editor panel here. Or, like we talked about in the previous uh, lesson and tutorial, we can actually use our icon buttons right below here, or I can simply use the letter E. So we've got a couple different ways to view that down below. But when I hit play, you can see the clip playing in a loop fashion and the playhead in the arrangement timeline just moving forward through the time sequence. So great way to bring in clips, take a listen to them and have them automatically looping for you. So I'll hit E, get rid of the editor. And let's see here. Also with the clip selected and the inspector open, now you can see that the inspector now has changed specifically to context sensitive information regarding the, the uh, clip. So now all this information is actions and, and details about the clip specifically. So, and additionally over here, let me move this guy out of the way. We, this is now context sensitive and has updated to a clip. If you watch this button right here, when I select track, it goes to track, clip, back to clip. And now again, we have a menu that's context sensitive and things we can customize by pinning off of this menu for clips. All right, so that's a quick look at the um, clip launcher and the overall arrange uh, panel and range information. So let's go ahead and move on to our next tutorial and we'll take a look at uh, some additional features.